Thanks, Matt. Uh, Tom Paragudoff here from Apollo Silver. Uh, Apollo's got the Calico Silver project. We recently announced our resource uh, in California of 166 million ounces, third largest uh, undeveloped silver resource in the U.S. Tom, good to see you good again. To see you, Matt. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Look, it was only a few, a few a couple of weeks since we saw you, but uh, I was checking in with regards to uh, the drilling. You said you'd be drilling um, about now. Wanted to catch up on that one. Also, uh, I would like to talk about some regional knowledge you may be able to share with our shareholders. Uh, I say our, our subscribers, I should say. So let's start with the drilling. Where are you? Uh, look at the 2022 programs progressing quite well. Network is well on track. Uh, we had uh, wanted to get the drills turning in early March. We, we were delayed, uh, but I can tell you that the uh, mods to the drill are completed. We drilled a test hole over the last few days, and there'll be an announcement around the commencement of that drill program here any day now. Uh, so I think we're, we're on track. On track, on schedule, great, love it. Here's the bit I need your help with, and, and, and we've, we've decided to kind of film this because I think I think it would be interesting, right, to share it this sure. way, which is we quite often, you know, companies come on and talk about we're, you know, operating in a marvelous jurisdiction. We're Fraser Institute, rank number one, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. U.S. Okay. always put up on a pedestal and go, right, this is the best place to do mining. We see that in the context of the Biden administration saying, we need battery uh, metals. We, you know, we 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 support mining, and then making it difficult as heck for miners to mine. So, your neck of the woods. Uh, we we saw something last week. K two Gold, who've been on the show a couple of times, they've decided to withdraw from California. Uh, you're in California. Yeah. Does it affect you? Does their thinking affect you? Look, it. I think the first thing that's important to understand is to 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 look at California as a single entity is a bit of a a, a, a simplification and, and really a gross oversimplification of what is a more nuanced sort of jurisdiction. You know, they, they've had their challenges, uh, Inu County and, and, and where they've been operating in San Bernardino County, where we're operating are, are completely different uh, when it comes to their approach to resource development and the way they view the economic development of their individual states. Um, you know, I could point to the fact that, you know, Inu is, is over half of that county uh, is, uh, is, is covered by the, uh, 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 the, the, the Death Valley National Park. You know, and the, the big chunk of that, uh, the rest of it is covered by the is Sequoia National Park. You know, we in San, in, in San Bernardino County, we don't have any of those enc encroachments on national monuments, forests, parks. Uh, I think the other thing to bear in mind is that uh, I think, as I've told you before, Matt, San Bernardino County has got more operating mines in that county than any other jurisdiction in the U.S. So, uh, you know, does it impact us? Well, of course it does, because there is, you know, again, this lack of understanding around some of the more nuanced uh, uh, requirements and in, 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 uh, in California. So, you know, I, I'm not particularly worried about it, but I, you know, I, I do think that that does explain uh, some of the disconnect between what we see in our intrinsic valuation versus some of the valuations that our peers are currently getting. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of interesting. It's definitely worth thinking about. You know, it's not just nice. We've seen the same things across uh, Africa, actually, you know, and, and Canada. Um, so you're saying the U.S. is is a good place to do, good place for mining, depending on which state you're in and specifically which county you're in. That's what we need to look at. It, it matters. It absolutely matters. Right. And and what, who, who holds sway here? Federal, state, or county? I mean, can either, any of those usurp uh, the other? And, and, and look at, this is where you really need to, 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 to understand uh, the type of title each of the uh, companies that you're looking at hold. Uh, if you are on uh, uh, public lands uh, primarily, then you are going to initially and uh, have a tight engagement with the Bureau of Land Management, the federal group. Okay, we're on private lands, so our resources are all contained within private lands. I'm the landowner, so what that means is my engagement is primarily driven to, at the county level. So I initially have got a, a group that's very supportive of of, uh, of resource development. Um, and, you know, I can say that uh, the time they've taken to turn around their, their permits uh, for our drill program this year 
uh, really indicative of the kind of support that uh, we get. Now, advancing, moving forward, of course, we will then be dealing more at a state and to a certain extent a federal level as we start dealing with some of those wildlife type permits and water type permits. But initially to for the next 12 uh, months, we'll, you know, our, our focus will be on engagement with uh, with the county. OK, and, and, and when you throw BLM into all of this. I mean, how, yeah. how does that layer over all of the above? Well, look at the the the, uh, the BLM uh, the BLM land will, uh, or sorry, the BLM as as a whole will sit on top of the county when it comes to getting some of those final master uh, permits to mine. I'll point out that our Waterloo resource has already been through an in full environmental impact statement uh, and had all permits uh, issued to mine back in the uh, in the mid '80s when Asarco had the project. Uh, so the project as a whole has been through this process before. Okay, that's interesting, and that's really, that's really nicely uh, broken down, and that's quite useful, and that's kind of what I, uh, you know, called up about. Um, let's talk about Arizona. Yep. Same situation. Yep. No, I'll look at different situation. Go back to the Fraser Institute, and you know, you, uh, you can see that uh, as far as the Fraser Institute is concerned, obviously Arizona uh, is a uh, is a very attractive destination, and and we're looking forward to getting a. Uh, operating down there. We uh, have recently uh, uh, finalized our work program. Uh, we're gonna be getting boots on the ground here in about three to four weeks time. We've got uh, range front gonna be doing, uh, out there doing our mapping contracting for us. And so we're excited to get going. It gives us another opportunity, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to, to make a discovery in, in, uh, in a very, very uh, prospective part of the world. Okay, and what, what can we expect to see from that? Obviously, you're, you're, you're right at the beginning. Um, what are we looking forward to this year from, from the Arizona project? Uh, look, at from Arizona this year, we'll get uh, our targets generated. And my expectation is that we will uh, have targets uh, in place to commence drilling uh, early in 2023. Okay, fine. Well, look, I um, appreciate the call and, and, and thanks for letting us film it. Uh, it just it saves, saves us a lot of time, helps with our understanding Absolutely. and hopefully people watching it get something out of it too. So uh, Tom, appreciate your time. Speak to you soon. Excellent. Thanks very much, Matt. Talk again soon.